Oh hoy people, Vaniverse from the Vaniverse Gaming Channel here with another video on Kingdom Come Deliverance. Today's video, I want to do a quick lock picking guide on mouse and keyboard. I've seen other people have done guides on the game, but I haven't really seen any done on the mouse and keyboard, and so I want to do a quick one on that. Also, I noticed that when people have done lock picking guides, it's been in the second part of the game where you actually have a lock picking tutorial. But you don't have to wait that long. You can actually get lock picks right in the beginning of the game, depending on what you choose. So, for instance, when you first get into the game and you're talking to your mother about your night out, you pick speech it twice instead of agility, strength, and um, vitality. Now, I was not successful without picking speech twice. I don't know if you can pick it just one speech and one another one. But when I had speech two in the beginning of the game, and I was sent to the drunkard Kanush to collect my father's tools in order to sell for money, um, I was able to talk him down, use speech, and not fight him. By not fighting him, it said I had to find a different way to get his tools so I could sell them. And so I went into his house to steal, and it opened up a quest to go see Fritz in order to get some lockpicks. So I went over to the tavern, I saw Fritz, it started the whole movie cutscene, and we have to agree or disagree to go throw shit at some dude's house. So I agree, I go meet him at the house, I talk to Fritz, I got my four lockpicks, and then we threw crap at the house, and then we ended up going to meet at Kanush's house after we were done. Once you meet there, you can convince your buddies to beat up Kanush with you, and then he will just give you his key in order to open his chest so you can get the hammer and nails out. And then you can just grab his axe at that point because it's no longer stealing. And then you will be able to sell them for the gold. If you take the axe without Kanush's permission or if you unlock the chest with the lockpicks you took from Fritz, then it's going to be stolen and you're not going to be able to sell them and make enough gold. So just keep that in mind. So this guy right here... Is kind of walking around. Um, we'll wait for him to go away, and then I'll show you how to do the lock picking. So now he's gone. The guide to the lock picking: the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to change the DPI setting on your mouse. So most people run, you know, 1600 DPI. If you're into first-person shooters, you're probably at about a 2000 DPI. Um, but for this, for lock picking, I found that a 1000 DPI seemed to be the best. So with 1,000 DPI, it gives me the most control um, in order to pick the lock and not fail. You can tweak it a little bit. Maybe you need less. Maybe you, you're more accurate with more. Um, but that's kind of the first start I would do is change your DPI setting. Now, I tried going into settings and controls and changing my mouse sensitivity, and that did not work. So changing your DPI seems to be best. Once you get into the game here and you see you have your chest easy to lock pick, you hold down E and you start it. Now what's cool about this is every time you click on this, you're going to find the sweet spot which will turn it yellow. If you don't like where the sweet spot is, you can always come out of the menu and go back in and it will change where the sweet spot is the second time. Now we want the sweet spot to be much closer to the middle because it's easier to spin it here than it is to try and spin it here. So we're going to keep clicking on it until we get in the middle. Now know the longer you stay here, the likelihood of you getting caught gets greater because you're in somebody's house and you're wasting time. So we don't want to get caught, but this is a tutorial, so we're good. All right, so this is still not optimal. So we're going to keep clicking it until we get an optimal spot. All right, right here. Perfect. That's an optimal spot. So now what you have to do is you hold D to turn and then you have to turn this along with it, always keeping this yellow. If you rush too far this way without turning, you're going to break your pick. You, you want to you wanna kind of drag a lot round. It's okay to turn more and to shake and to move slowly than it is to try and move too fast. With your, if you move too fast, you're going to break every time. It's almost worth delaying and moving slowly in order to get it. So right now I have my sweet spot. I'm going to start turning. And you can see it's kind of vibrating. Now I can spin with it, spin with it, spin with it, and I unlock it. So that's how that works. You spin and you kind of wait for the lock. It's okay if it vibrates. You don't want to go too fast or you're not going to get it. So now I can hold E, I can rob, get my money, and bail out before somebody knows that I just stole. 
And so because I was successful and because I didn't, you know, screw up. Oh, God. There's a guy there. Um, I retain my lockpick. So you can see. Oh, I use my lockpick regardless. So whether you screw up or you succeed, you might actually use your lockpick up. Later in the game, there are traits you can get or perks. So when you get in here and you go to uh, player and you go to skills and you go to lockpicking, you'll see you get lasting picks here, which if you do info tells you you'll be more durable and last twice as long. Um, repairman, successful picking, lock shift, 20% chance of any broken lock picks returned to your inventory. So as you get better at lock picking, you'll have better, you'll have more vitality, I guess, on your lock picks so that they don't break as much. So that's pretty much how it works. Um, the key things that I would say to be successful at it, just to summarize, is change your DPI setting. A thousand was good for me, but try it to where you like it. The second thing is, is when you get into the menu, keep going in and out of the menu until you get the sweet spot or the yellow circle as close to the middle as you can get. It's so much easier to spin it when it's close than to be on the outer ring. And then lastly, when you do get the sweet spot, hold down your D and turn the lock first. When you see your, your, your yellow circle start to vibrate, then start moving it along and try and keep it yellow as slow as you can. Do not go super fast moving the yellow sweet spot. Um, because if you go too far in advance, you're going to break your lock every time. It's better to lag to the spin, you know, hold down your spin and let it vibrate and then move it than it is to try and move it and stop the vibration. So I hope this was a good tutorial. Um, I hope it was helpful for everyone trying to learn how to do lock picking. This was a very frustrating thing for me, but after you get the hang of it, like every other game, it becomes pretty easy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you um, want to sub to my channel for all the videos I have on all the games and also Kingdom Come Deliverance, please click on the icon in the bottom right hand corner. And if you have any questions or there's things that you feel I didn't explain well or you think there's other things that are helpful, please leave them in the comments below. And I always read any comments that are constructive. And yeah, so this is Vaniverse from the Vaniverse Gaming Channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Cheers and peace out.